Hey guys, it's Mike Chen, long time no see, but exciting news, water is finally found on Mars. As we all know, Mars is one of the most exciting and talked about planets in our solar system. It has been ever since the discovery of long dried riverbanks, valleys, and basins, indicating that water may have existed there, meaning that life may have once existed there. No researchers or scientists have ever found a body of water on the giant red planet. But although we have found clues, researchers have yet to actually find water on the red planet it until now. And here's why it matters. For decades, Mars has taunted us with the discovery of vast subterranean ice deposits and gaseous states of liquid, teasing the best brains on Earth that there may be life on the planet. Like I said, there were clues that water once existed and that it even flowed seasonally, descending Mars's steep slopes once every year during the Martian summer, but still there was no concrete evidence. And as we know, at least on Earth, water is the main ingredient for life. So this was really exciting when the Italian Space Agency announced that Large bodies of liquid water have been identified by their researchers and it is hidden a mile beneath the surface of Mars's South Pole. The discovery was made by using the Mars Advanced Radar for Subsurface and Ionosphere Sounding Instrument aka MARSIS and it was designed for exactly this kind of discovery. And as radio astronomer for the National Institute for Astrophysics Roberto Orose says, Mars has orbited Mars via the European Space Agency's Mars Express spacecraft and transmitted low frequency pulses of electromagnetic waves towards the planet. The waves interacted with the Martian planet's features and revealed clues about the planet's composition. Now the key here is to understand that water reflects radar more strongly than rock sediment as we learned from our own turf when analyzing subglacial lakes here on Earth. And it has revealed that Mars's southern pole resembles the characteristics and features of the subglacial lakes here on Earth. Astrophysicist Roberto Orsi and his team made this discovery and the findings will be published this month. And with their publication, they will raise incredible and exciting questions surrounding the mysterious planet's geology and its ability to harbor life itself. Now, of course, we didn't actually go to Mars and, and, and scoop a cup of this water ourselves, but the chief scientist at the Mars program office at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory stated, I can absolutely prove it is water, but I sure can't think of anything else that looks like this thing does other than liquid water. However, further evidence would be required to 100% confirm the liquid form is actually, well, liquid water. Also, this start discovery begs the question of how water can remain liquid at minus 10 degrees Celsius. However, Orsa and his team attributed this to the fact that Martian rock contains magnesium, calcium, and sodium salts that have dissolved in the water and thus lowered its freezing point. Now, the next step is for researchers to find even more lakes on Mars, and if they do, then it opens up Mars to a whole universe of possibilities. For example, more lakes means water is more common, which in turn means all of a sudden, well, life in the Martian water is not all that inconceivable. So basically, Martians could indeed exist and could be lurking beneath Mars's southern ice caps. And this discovery will give scientists a new mission with a fresh direction. So instead of searching for life on the surface of Mars, which has long since been deemed inhospitable, maybe it's time to look beneath the surface. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think there are Martians inside Mars? Also, if I give you a cup of Martian water, are you going to drink it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.